21 weeks. Weigh 138 pounds. <laughs> And it's Mother's Day. <laughs> oh, that's so much harder. That really hurts. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm gonna do a voiceover. Um, I filmed a few exercises from two different workouts. This one is going to be from my upper body day um, and then I included a short clip for my shoulder day too. Um, so I'm kind of just throwing this together. I want to explain what I'm doing here. So here I'm just doing your standard um, creature curl. I started with 15 regular and then I went into five negative. So you really control it all the way down. Um, and then after that, I pulse it out for another five, trying to get as much blood as I can into that muscle and really burn it out. Um, it's a brutal workout. It's really good. You know, you're not going very heavy on creature curls, so it really makes this an effective exercise for women. Um, that was one of the exercises I did, and then I superseted that with um, just regular barbell curls. Um, so this you can kind of see. I'm doing 40. It was a little too heavy for me. I'm having to force rep it at the end. Um, they're just really sloppy and uh, not that good. So, you know, I dropped the ego, dropped the weight. So on the next set, you'll see that um, after I turn pieces up, um, I go over and drop it to 30 pounds. Uh, and that was a lot better. That was my next set, you know. I just did it a lot more controlled. Um, but this is one of my favorites for arms. I really only do two, three max exercises on my uh, bicep day. I usually mix biceps and triceps and only do two of each um, and that's kind of like one of my lighter days. So here's all I did for my biceps on this day. And then I go, this is, I've been filming so many uh, shoulder exercises for you guys so I'm not really filming my whole days anymore. Um, but this one I really wanted to record because it is so different. I'm doing um, a front raise but I'm adding a little twist to the end and the twist really helps you get or incorporate the medial head if you were to just do a front raise you're only targeting the front deltoid um, so I really want to get a well-rounded exercise so this way I'm hitting the front and the medial um, this was a really effective exercise um, it, was, it burned really bad I did 15 each way and then um, I burned out with five I think um, at the very end of just doing uh, front raises. Here we go into here. And that um, I based off of a feeling rather than reps. So this is just a burnout and really push yourself. And then of course as I end every shoulder exercise, I pose and pump as much blood into the muscle as I can to help with growth and recovery. And then there's that guy. We don't pay attention to that guy. <laughs> And then, um, this was, I've never actually done this before, but I really wanted to just mix it up a little bit. This was just an intro into my cardio. So I still finished with 25 minutes of stairs at the end, um, but this really helped uh, just kind of burn out the muscles that I worked, incorporate my back, and this thing really <laughs> gets your whole upper body moving. Um, so I did 30 seconds on at, I think, the resistance level four, and 30 seconds off. I did that for five minutes. Um, so that was just kind of how I started out my cardio. And then after I was done with that, um, I went over and did stairs. And that's all I really had recorded for you guys at 21 weeks. Um, I'm gonna record a full back day because I haven't really posted any of those recently. Um, and then hopefully we can go from there. All right, so you guys just watched um, just kind of some random clips I threw together of my workouts over there this last week. Um, so that shoulder day that I only showed you one clip from, um, that was on Tuesday and then Wednesday morning I had to go to the hospital. Um, I was starting to have some contractions that were really painful. Um, it was just, it was really bad pain that wouldn't let up and I just knew something was wrong. So we just went to the hospital to be safe. 
Um, and sure enough, there were contractions going on. Um, they couldn't figure out why I wasn't dilating at all, which is really good because if you start dilating, then that's considered you're going to preterm labor. Um, so thank God I wasn't doing that. <laughs> um, so they just gave me an IV and just told me that I need to kind of cool it, that maybe my exercises are um, just a little too much. So um, they told me I'm going to Australia on Saturday for a week. So I'm still cleared for that, but they really wanted me to take it easy the rest of this week before I leave, um, just in case that were to happen again. It's not gonna happen like as I'm on a 15 hour flight. Um, so I can't really work out the rest of this week, which is a bummer. Um, and I honestly, I don't feel like I've been pushing it too hard. I haven't been reckless. I haven't been, you know, irresponsible or anything like that. I've just been listening to my body and, it, and it's, I feel perfect at the gym. So it's not like something's hurting and I'm just like powering through it. Um, I'm really listening to my body when I'm at the gym. So I'm not sure what happened on Wednesday or if it even was workout related. Um, I don't know. But I am going to listen to them. I'm going to hang out and just kind of relax the rest of this week. I think I'm going to just do some cardio. I think it's honestly stairs because stairs are starting to get a little bit painful. Um, so I think I'm going to switch my cardio to just walking on a treadmill. Um, or do like maybe a spin bike or something. But I think just like the movement of the stairs. Um, I used to be able to go 35 minutes and now I'm getting to like 20, 25. And I'm just like, okay, that starts to feel really weird. So, um... That may have been what happened. I don't know. I'm glad everything's okay, though. Um, we're still healthy. And I can still go to Australia, so that's really exciting. I was really scared that uh, they would not clear me anymore that that happened. But um, they didn't really have to intervene at all. They did do a cervix check just to see if I was dilated. Um, but, you know, nothing... Uh, they didn't have to like give me anything or like steroids or anything like that, which is really good because I really want to go this whole pregnancy without with zero interventions of any sort. So um, even like checking your cervix a lot while you're in labor, I'm going to deny quite a bit um, just because it doesn't really tell you anything. De depending on how far dilated you are, that doesn't tell you. It's not like a crystal ball where it's like, okay, you're here, you're going to go into labor in like 10 minutes. So and sometimes that can, um, you know, cause a doctor to want to induce you if they feel like you should be more dilated than you're not, or it can just be frustrating as a woman if they feel like they should be dilated and they're not as dilated. So, um, part of my plan is to deny those checks, but in this certain case, you know, I, if I felt it was important because I had to see if I was dilating at, you know, 21 weeks pregnant. So, um, that's why I allowed that to happen. Other than that, they just gave me an IV, and I went back to work that day, so um, it didn't really, didn't really, like, hinder my day too much. It was really painful for uh, the first few, it was like, I was, as soon as I woke up, it was pretty bad, and I kept trying to just force it, um, just get ready for work, and it just kept getting worse, and it just was, like, constant tension, it wouldn't let up, it was just, like, really painful, um, and so I called my doctor, they're asking how much water I drink, and I'm just, like, you can see my two liters back there. I drink over a gallon a day and water has never been the problem with me. Um, so they're like, well, if you're drinking that much water and you're feeling that, um, you definitely should go to the ER. So Kevin and I just went, we didn't risk it. Um, and then, so <laughs> I'm so stubborn. He was like, let me just pull up to the front and like drop you off. And I'm just like, no, it's a freaking park. Like I'll, I can walk. I'm fine. So we had a park kind of far. <laughs> And then where the um, labor and delivery is at, it's on the second floor, and it's, like, on the other side of where you park. So I had to walk so far, and by the time I got to, like, the labor and delivery unit, like, I just, like, I couldn't, like, stand up straight. I couldn't move. I was, like, in tears. It hurt so freaking bad. I can't even explain it. Um, and then that's when, like, Kevin was just, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Because he doesn't ever see me cry, especially over pain. And, like, I think... Um, I think when I'm in labor and I know I'm in labor, I'm going to have a different mindset for it. Um, and I'm going to like embrace it and like, um, you know, there's a ton of laboring affirmations and stuff that are pretty far powerful and that I think will help a lot. But when you're 21 weeks pregnant and feeling that pain, I was just like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Like, this is so painful. I don't understand. Like, shouldn't be feeling this yet. So, um, it was pretty scary, but I'm glad, you know, everything's fine. I'm still very low risk. And yeah, um, 
So you guys saw the workouts that I did. I just realized that I <laughs> I do all uh, booty days and shoulder days for you guys. So you can obviously see what my favorite muscle groups are to train and what I focus on. Um, but obviously you guys probably want to see a little bit more than that. So I'm going to record a full back day in my next back workout. It probably won't be until I get back from Australia. Um, I really don't want to work out heavy before or while I'm there. I'm going to do cardio. Um but you guys don't need to see that you know how to do cardio. Um, so next time I do back day, we'll probably be like 23, 24 weeks pregnant. Um, you saw that I can still do pull-ups. They're awful. They're not true form. I'm not going all the way down. Um, so I don't know. My doctor actually told me that I need to stop doing that because I'm, re I'm stretching my abdomen so hard that he's just saying it's not, it is a little painful actually doing them. So I uh, said that I probably need to stop those, but it was such a huge goal of mine to be able to still do them at nine months pregnant, so um, I don't do them every day like I used to, and it's definitely getting harder now that, you know, I'm almost 20 pounds heavier, um, but yeah, Kevin, I weighed this morning, I'm still 139, um, we measured my waist, I'm 34 and a quarter, so I got to like 34 inches, I have to look back at the videos, I want to say it was like 16 or 17 weeks, my belly got so big so fast, um, and I feel like it just completely stopped, like my belly has been pretty much the same size for a while now, um, and I'm just slowly gaining weight, so I think because I was just so lean, I didn't really have any room that like you could see so much of my belly just like expand, um, but I've been pretty much the same size now here for quite a few weeks. Um, like I said, at like 16 or 17 weeks, I was 34 inches, and I'm only 34 and a quarter, so um, my belly is growing very small now, which I'm very grateful for, because I was very worried for this flight, that I was going to be so big and so uncomfortable on the plane, but now I'm just like, I'll be totally fine, I'm not that big, so I'm um, looking forward to that, and the next vlog that you guys see will be in Australia, so today is Thursday, and uh, we get on a flight Saturday, Saturday afternoon, so um, I need to go home and pack, get everything ready, make sure the dog sitter is all good to go. Um, and yeah, we're going to try and record this whole entire trip. We'll have a few days to explore. Um, and then Kevin's parents are actually meeting us out there. So we're super excited about that. Um, and that's really it. That's the whole recap for my 21 weeks. Um, other than the little ER scare, um, everything else is going really good. It's a little uncomfortable to sleep now. Um, but I mean, you guys know me, absolutely nothing can affect my sleep. Um, it takes me a little bit longer to fall asleep, but once I'm out, I'm out. Um, so that's good. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I still have my 20 weeks video to do. So I'm only behind one video now. Um, I got caught up. So if you guys kind of go through all my videos, there's about four or five that I, um, uploaded that are like in between. They're not the most recent. Um, as far as week wise, I got pretty behind on footage, but I'm all good to go now. I just have my 20 weeks video, which I recorded um, the entire bar class that I did, which was a lot of fun. So you can see me being a tiny little dancer. <laughs> um, so I just need to edit that footage. It's like an hour long video that I need to go through. So that's why it's taking me so long. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the love and support that I get from you guys every single day. Um, and those that keep calling me out about staying on top of these videos, you guys definitely are my motivation. So I will see you in the next video in Australia.